All right. Hi again. Okay, so there's a couple of people that wanted to know about hot swapping some uh, cosmetics. Um, basically getting double unusuals for a lot cheaper prices compared to... Uh, hold on, I'll explain that in a minute. So, I'm going to have to just start off with easy terms with this. So, there's different cosmetics in the game. Blah, blah, blah. There's going to be hats, such as this, for example, or that. And then there would be other, like, kind of uh, hats that you can consider these. Um, this sort of hat is uh, a cosmetic or a misc, as you could call it. And there's only a few of these in the world, such as, uh, there's that hat, uh, where I'll just search them. There is antlers, and virtual viewfinder, if it's there, if I can find it. There they are. So, these three hats are, have, like, no bound area that they take up on the character. And... Usually people will get these hats to get like, um, let's say like a third effect with their unusuals. So you can pair unusuals with each other. But Valve didn't really like this. And so what they did is you can't unbox them anymore. So you can still get these certain hats, but they're like insanely high in keys and price and value. Like you'd, you'd be lucky to get one of the like set of antlers for at least like 300 keys. It's probably even more than that at this stage, but... The reason why they're so good is because you can wear any hat with that. It works the same with ever. And you see the way I can wear this hat and that hat. It's just because it doesn't take up the head area. So a lot of people decided then, well, not really decide. There's a bug in the game that's still doable. And you can basically put on an entire helmet on or any cosmetic that has like a head area then it takes up all so you can't really wear a lot of things with this see these are only like you can only wear like a let's say jumpers and boots and stuff like that but you can't wear like any headpiece excluding the max head it's also like the antlers and um virtual viewfinder and the this polar pullover uh so you can do a little glitch that works really well and you can wear whatever whatever cosmetics. So I'll just try it out. For example, we'll put this hat on. And at the moment, you can see I can't wear this. Item conflicts with the other items. So you can put on whatever cosmetics on first. So say if you wanted to wear, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to put on these. I like these. And then whenever you swap to your second class... You just have this slot open. This is where you're going to put your glitch cosmetic. So your whole head cosmetic is going to go in the, like, let's just say the second slot. So all you have to do is, I like to just drop it in first so I can see where it is. Um, here. And all you have to do is, is just a quick swap like this. So you're basically just going to click on the A button here or wherever your class is. And once you click that, you just quickly click onto this and just wait a sec, like this. And it should pop on like that. It's pretty straightforward. It's it's kind of quick to do. It works with other classes. Uh, you could try with the blast uh, defense. It's another one of them. Only certain classes have them. I don't think engineer has one. But the reason why I'm able to wear a double unusual for him is because... Um, I'll have to explain this one as well. There's another uh, set of unusuals that are for certain classes, such as the Pencil Pusher. It's also a very expensive unusual to get. Um, so, it works the same way as, like, the antlers. And I know it's I'm kind of repeating myself here again, but you're basically... You just have a, a slot that's not taken up. This is, like, basically wearing a free hat. And you can just wear that for the unusual effect. I know it's pretty darn ugly, but all you have to do is just like pop on another hat. And so like you got a nice combo on. Um, I usually like to wear just green energy and uh, Tarawat looks really nice together. But I'm planning on selling um, this cosmetic for 
Uh, there's another cosmetic, this one. This also works the same as the antlers, viewfinders, and uh, the polar pullover. Works the same way, you can wear it with whatever cosmetic, and you can get it unusual. But they're really expensive as well, and there's only like 20 of them in the world, so... Well, maybe a little more than that, but it's just they're really expensive to get. So, I mean, I can try it once more, I'll show you another cosmetic. Uh, another one that works for another character, a whole head cosmetic, is the medics. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, gauze, gauze gaze, or ga gazed, ga whatever, whatever, you can read. So it works the same way, we'll just put on whatever... It, this also works with whatever hats as well. So say if you want a pair of hat, I'll try it with just something random. It might doesn't have to be unusual. You can do this with whatever hat. So you can make really cursed looking loadouts. Uh, I'm gone blind. Where is it? Here. I'll try something else first. Something that looks like it wouldn't really go on. Like something. I'll try this again. Never mind. I'll take this off. And. Where is it? Gaze. Oh. I think it's going to go by the name. I also never named this. This is the way it came with. Also pretty expensive to get. Usually if someone knows about the whole head cosmetic, they're going to sell it pretty high. So it's a cheap effect with this. So quickly, all you have to do is just swap. I'm going to click onto that. There you go. You can see. Wait. Hold on. I think... I think he could already wear this with this. But never mind, you get the picture. I'll, I'll just put my unusual back on. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. I know some of them are outdated, but this is just a quick rundown of it. All you do is swap, click onto that, go off. There you go. Easy peasy. Anyways, uh, yeah. Just for those people that wanted to know on how it's done. Kind of a long video, just to explain it. Alright. Uh, yeah, let me know if you need any more help with it. Bye.